Water and orange juice by the night table. Breakfast crumbs in the sheets. A whole pharmacy on the dresser. And a TV remote hiding in the blankets. Impatient old lady weary of mornings. A lifetime whittled down to a solitary bed within an ever-expanding universe. <clears throat> Asking for it. I'm dancing naked on a rooftop in a thunderstorm and waving a sign up to heaven saying in big red letters, Call me, damn you. And if you're a cheap bastard, you can reverse the charges. Didn't you brand Kane and <clears throat> didn't you brand Cain and give Pharaoh a bath? And oh, those divine muscles you strained, pouring buckets of water over Noah's, Noah's nasty neighborhood, not to mention your pyromania in Sodom and Gomorrah. But you, great smiter, have yet to aim one lightning bolt at me. Am I not just as unworthy? Isn't dancing naked while holding a damn you bastard sign enough? <laughs> I covet your wrath. Do I have to kill someone to get <clears throat> to get its consummation? Say something to me. Curse at me. At me alone. And not through some holy man preaching hearsay to me. Playing telephone is a kid's party game. And the last child in the chain hears only a garbled revelation. For once let me be the first to hear your voice, man to man, or even, <clears throat> or even irritated de deity to whiny two-year-old. Uh, come here, boy, or heel will do. I'd even wag my tail if you gave me one. <clears throat> Platitudes for capitalist success. Verily, Horatio Alger appeared to me yet again Young man, stop lulling about and pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. But I was no longer young and had no decent boots. For even if I were my own boss, I could afford to pay myself only minimum wage. And it was too late to correct my lack of youth. However, I did buy cut-rate boots at Soul Brothers Bargain Sub-Basement Shoes. And in strict adherence to Horatio's edict, I crouched down and pulled hard, very hard, making myself yanker and yankee, or jerker and jerky, of leather straps on the back of my boots. And so I pulled my feet right out from under me. Pulling up by your own bootstraps leaves you falling flat forward on your face, nose broken on the floor. Undaunted, Horatio urged me on with yet another platitude. Quit lounging about and Put your nose to the grindstone. <laughs> Stranded on Optimus freeways. Rancho Grande Estates, lower middle class dream. But in a Nevada desert? Who should who could sell such shacks? And how? Don't worry. Rest assured TV pitchmen pointing to glossy sl slick photos of factories, picket fence houses, shops, schools, facsimiles of decent paychecks, and most of all by unabashedly vowing that all who signed on the dotted line will never again be month behind the rent tenants of landlords loading it over them. Over them. <clears throat> you. They were talking to you and you. Supposed big investors were backing your dreams with their millions, but your dollars were also needed, your dollars and yours, and the dollars of all who sit on threadbare couches watching those ads on already outdated TVs. And roads were promised, of course, asphalt ribbons binding together the like-minded that were to exuberantly branch off, main, off the main road called Optimus Freeway. That's what the promoters proudly named it, proclaiming America on the upswing, a rosy road to a two-bedroom richer living before those pickpockets of trust were handcuffed and driven away in police vans, claiming, of course, to be innocents being railroaded to jail. Yet, Optimus Freeways do exist on every map of the world, well-paved tenth of a mile, tempting starts, 
with convincing road signs pointing this way to blue collar El Dorado and <clears throat> and then turning into bumpy gravelly roads petering out into an anywhere Nevada desert where hopeful pilgrims both brash and wary are stranded on the sand at dead ends of bone dry tumbleweeds bristling cacti and desiccated desecrated dreams yeah. 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 Yeah.